much for watching Canine Kate. I'm Kate, and this is a difficult subject. Addiction can rip families apart and leave those on the outside feeling helpless. A Georgia mom told me she didn't know what to do as her son sank deeper and deeper into addiction. When she realized she couldn't save him, she knew she still wanted to save something. So she started saving homeless animals in honor of her son and all of the people who are fighting addiction. One look at Dallas and you can tell that he's loved. He's part of a family now, he's home, but he almost didn't make it. Um, Dallas was turned in without a name. His owners didn't even care enough to give his name. When Dallas was surrendered at the Polk County Animal Shelter, he was scheduled to be put down. Nobody wanted him. At 10 o'clock the night before he would be euthanized, um, someone from Maryland said, I want him. And that's exactly how it happened. He was in his 11th hour and I couldn't stop it. When Darlene Knight looked at Dallas, she thought of her son, a heroin addict in prison in his 11th hour. No one can save him. We all wait for that call and no one stepped up. I actually got on my knees in a courtroom. It didn't matter. He's alive and I'm grateful. And I'm not ashamed he's in jail. I'm, I'm lucky that he's being saved. So she decided she wanted to do something to help. So she paid the adoption fee and vetting for a dog in honor of her son's friend who just lost his life to addiction. She named him Dallas. When we began losing friends um, his age from addiction, uh, we recently lost one. Um, I thought if I can't save the child, I can save another life by paying an adoption fee for a shelter dog. She says seeing Dallas have a second shot at life has given her new hope for the future. It's hard to have hope when you see you're, you're hopeful, you're let down, you're filled with hope again, you're lied to. It's a vicious circle and no matter where you live, it's the same hell, different house. She's trying to break that cycle and that stigma through homeless pets. I understand it well from seven years of experience. Um, people think he's worthless. A lot of people think shelter dogs are worthless because their owners didn't want them. So I found a connection and I'm gonna keep promoting this. She says it's opened the door for other people who are struggling to talk to her and understand they're not alone in the fight. It's an incredible way to talk about addiction. I'm not ashamed of it. Um, it's a war that we all need education to face by talking with each other. And to know that I made a difference in one dog's life, that's all it takes. She's not starting a big formal foundation or charity, but she says anyone who wants can get involved. She worked with Shannon Hicks at the Polk County Animal Shelter to save Dallas. Just get in touch with your local shelter and see how you can help. Do it in the name of someone you love.